Hello and welcome to this first tutorial of Volume and Tricks. So um, let's start with something easy. Uh, I will choose um, the polygon tool here, it's a primitive shape. And I will create my flat shape here. Yeah, a little one. Okay. I will select a color or I'll click. I can choose a gradient. All right. So uh, let's say I'm choosing an ugly gradient like this. Here, deep blue. Why not? Okay. So I have here my. Uh, my primitive shape. Uh, then I'm, I launch the tool, I select a direction, so left, right, or flat, I would say. So I select an orientation here, left to the right, uh, right to the left, bottom to the top, and top to the bottom. I select a volume, which is an extrusion, uh, a light fall off, even if we have a, a gradient. And uh, let's do the trick. So now we have something like this and we don't know what it is. So um, here, this is my little object. Here we don't have a stroke. So I will add a stroke because that's really important if you want to have, you know, a sort of border just to see your uh, projection. So let's have a stroke like this. As you can see, the extrusion creates uh, something like an aliasing, all right? So I will change here my volume quality. And now we have something uh, more interesting. <laughs> Sorry for my lack of vocabulary. Um, then, that being said, uh, we can play with the the slider, all right? And of course, we can um, here on the slider, we can keyframe the slider. For example, here I'm on 27, and then I will be on 92, and then let's go back to 10. So, okay, now you can see this animation. Uh, now uh, I will set up a grid just to be sure of what am I doing here uh, on my work area. Let's see what happens when we want to change the angle of the light here. And for example, let's say color torch here. As you can see, you have plenty of options for the aspect of your projection. Uh, I will create another layer so circle here, completely different. So I'm improvising here. Uh, I don't, I don't want that. I don't, I, and I will add a stroke, pink stroke, yeah. And uh, I will project that in a flat with a light fall off, a drop shadow, vertical shadow. Um, here I will be on. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, multiply and then uh, that's enough okay let's do the trick so now I have my shape so sometimes you you have to, to, to wait a few seconds you know it's uh, the calculation uh, I will uh, uh, choose uh, high yeah high resolution is great and now we have two primitive shapes. Uh, when you import um, a vector file like an um, AI file from Illustrator or EPS, etc., uh, I will select this uh, tree. Uh, I will select the projection uh, and the orientation. And as soon as I selected the, the layer, it automatically created the shape layer from the imported file. But let's continue. Uh, I will uh, try to add volume. Uh, I don't need a live file of uh, drop shadow. Just let's do the trick. Ta -da. We have here the projection and we want to add a stroke. So I'm going to stroke and say, okay, let's have a pink stroke. In your 
original file here, you don't have a stroke, all right? So uh, the plugin can't add a stroke because if you have a complex shape and uh, sometimes you have a stroke and uh, sometimes you don't have a stroke, etc., uh, will not guess where we where you want to put strokes or or not. So we will not create a stroke on the fly. So um, here, uh, how can you have the effect? Yeah, let's put our isometric map here. And uh, the answer is really, really easy. You go here in the content, you have the shape group that Volume Tricks creates. And then you have your group one. Okay, you may have several groups, but you have your group one with the fill. The fill here is the color, all right? You just need to click here on the content and to add a stroke. Now we have a stroke. The stroke is white here by default, not by default for everyone, but just in my case. And then we can add our stroke, okay? And that's a beautiful tree in isometric view. Of course, it's all green, but you can do it uh, with uh, different colors. So now let's talk about footage. So here uh, you can uh, do the trick uh, with the footage uh, in uh, every uh, projection uh, here like this. And why not like that? And why not like this? And this like that, etc., etc. But you can't add volume here. Content other than text vector or shape layers cannot have a volume. Thank you, because um, uh, we will not duplicate the layers. Uh, the layer um, it will be too heavy. Uh, so uh, uh, and it's not really interesting. Just create. Uh, here, Took. just create a, a rectangle, okay? Create your projection with volume, etc., etc. Do your trick. Um, keep the same thing here, but put volume to zero. Uh, do the trick, and then you will have. Uh, you just need Took. to put the layer on the top. And then you will have your kind of a, um, projection, all right? I, 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 I wasn't re really precise when I made my uh, rectangle, but the main thing is that you can't create uh, volume from, uh, from footage. It's time to watch a tutorial. I mean, it's time to see uh, the behavior uh, of um, volumetrix and uh, the text or the behavior of the text with volume tricks. Here you will have this animation and it's quite smooth. Okay, let's say that now we will have this animation in the, yeah, okay, like that. You do the trick, you play it, and ta-da! Yeah, it's in reverse. Okay. Okay, as uh, so you have your animation, all right? So it doesn't break anything, okay? Uh, you can use all um, your plugins uh, to animate text. That's really useful. So here, of course, it's isometric. So now <clears throat> I will add volume. Boom. And I will do the trick. The text will not be editable but you will keep a copy. Do you want to proceed? I do. So keep in mind that the text seems to be not readable at all. But here we will add a stroke. Yeah, a little stroke like that. And uh, we don't have our text which is here. If you remember, it's now hidden. So we have a new uh, toy to play with and here you will find all your letters for example the w 
using the position, for example, a keyframe here, and then a keyframe there, or maybe this one. So um, do, do not forget that if you change your mind, if you want to go back, you can here have your original text with your original effect. So here is a quick example of what you can do with uh, Volumetrix and uh, the, the most representative uh, element uh, will be a windmill because here you will see that I will project immediately on this orientation something like uh, let's say 200 maybe less 200 yeah uh, with the light fell off um, I will do the trick let's uh, set up the isometric map but the windmill here is rotating so I will show you two keyframe and as you can see it's rotating but I will put it here in the same direction with no volume at all no yeah light fall off why not but it's not really interesting and I will do the trick and now you will have here a quite normal windmill so uh, yeah I will maybe put this here it will be more accurate so in a few seconds in one minute uh, 42 uh, you see that you can create easily a windmill let's jump to another example with uh, the house now let's try with uh, this house let's try to have a an interesting volume so um, I have different layers here um, so that's the background I mean the building the house so I will launch Volumetrix and then select here uh, or maybe there yes with a light fall off and here we are all right but we don't have all the shapes so now um, I will have this let's say the same direction but 54 yes and then we will have the steps so um, it will be something like that always the same direction So now um, I will show you here the building and we will readjust. So um, here for the house, um, yeah, I will precamp just to move it uh, smoothly just behind. Okay, okay. I will select the steps, one, two, three. Okay, that's cool. Sort of. Uh, I cheat a little bit, I add uh, another a copy of the wall here and I put it here. Uh, with uh, this uh, volume, okay. Um, I can select, uh, uh, yeah, the opacity of uh, the volume. Uh, no, because there is no light fall off, so I will uh, redo. So I'm doing the trick, yes. And I will select here something like uh, linear burn, yes. And now uh, we have this little house. The smartphone to click, all right. This one, let's say on the flat, yeah, blah blah blah. Poof, light fall off, um, drop shadow. Let's do the trick, blah 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 blah. Boom. 
All right, now we have the glass here, but we no need to have volume or light follow for drop shadow. So let's do the trick. And now we just need to place here. You can add here a nice map to um, help you to write something here, uh, like uh, my mobile. We have our text, no volume, because it's a projection. So let's do the trick. And boom, I forgot the direction. <laughs> Sorry, boom, my mobile, that's better. And here, and maybe something more trendy, pink. Red pink here. Um, I will uh, I will select uh, my block and my glass here and yeah. This is not designed. This is just an example. All right, my mobile and it's done. Okay, it took uh, a few seconds. So uh, last but not least. I will show you um, how to create a little town. As you can see here, I'm on Illustrator. You have uh, nothing in uh, in isometric uh, view. So let's see what uh, we can do with uh, volumetrics. It's not about creating something really sexy. It's just to show you the possibilities of uh, volumetrics. So uh, let's start with the hospital here, um, we'll, uh, yeah, I will accelerate um, the whole construction, so let's go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 